Hi, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm here with a very special guest. It is Emma Andrews, the Chief Commercialization Officer of BevCana. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here. Now, why don't we start off by you telling us a little bit about BevCana Enterprises, Inc.? Sure. So BevCana manufactures bottles and brands infused beverages for the Canadian and the American market, soon to be global as well. Uh, we have a really strong roster of team members who come with bottling and beverage expertise, working on global lifestyle brands um, and alcohol brands as well. So a strong CPG acumen uh, for the team and a great amount of infrastructure and assets that we get to pull on for our bottling operation as well. The big news of the day is that you secured your Health Canada hemp cultivation license. So what can you tell us about that? This is a huge milestone for us, actually, a very celebratory moment. Um, as many of your viewers may be familiar, getting licensed via Health Canada is not an easy process, and you really have to have um, a really dialed operation in order to secure this type of licensing. Uh, this hemp cultivation license will actually allow us to grow our own cannabis on our property. It's a 100-acre outdoor cultivation site that was licensed. Uh, the hemp that's grown there will be sun-grown and uh, low-cost, though high-quality. This will be extracted for CBD that we can infuse into beverages that we bottled on site. Wow, that's really exciting. Now, based on that today, the stock was up like 50% last time I looked. So congratulations on that. Thank you. So clearly the market is responding really well on the good news. So yeah. I'm really excited to see how the company continues to move forward. Now, in saying that, BevCana has a, is building some strong partnerships with industry leaders. Can you tell us a little bit about some of their experience with BevCana products? Yeah, and a lot of the experience comes from existing beverage expertise and existing expertise within cannabis processing and really differentiated services that we'll be able to leverage as part of our portfolio of products and brands. Uh, the first and most notable is our master licensing agreement with the Naturo Group. Uh, these are the owners of the bottling plant that BevCana will be producing all of its beverages out of. Um, they've been in the bottling and beverage industry for over 10 years, producing a notable nationally distributed brand called Trace Beverages, um, which is a Health Canada compliant formulation. So a lot of expertise and familiarity working with Health Canada, not just on the licensing side, but also on the product development and approval side. Uh, we also have an exclusive supply agreement with Nextleaf Solutions. Wow. They're based out of Coquitlam, and they have a patent on their end-to-end -end industrial scale extraction process. And this will allow us to use a purified and refined source of water-soluble cannabinoids that will infuse our beverages. And this will really dif differentiate them from a taste perspective and a sensory appeal. So making a drink that doesn't taste like the aroma and odor of cannabis, that tastes like the flavors or the pristine water, spring water that you'd use as the infusion medium. And then the last partnership that we're really excited about, um, well, certainly at this stage in the game, more to come, is our partnership with Dossier Creative. And they're based here in Vancouver, a world-renowned branding expert. Um, and that team has worked on beverages like Mike's Hard Lemonade. Um, and I've gratefully worked on them with a product and, and brand line called Vega as well. So strong expertise in creating compelling consumer brands on a global scale. Wow. You guys are working really, really hard. And you got some great partnerships there. Thanks. Yeah. Now, the BevCana team has grown quite a bit since the beginning with additions of yourself and Don Chisholm as Chief Brand and Innovative Manager. How do you guys strengthen the team? I would say both of us come with a, a strong acumen within the beverage and branding space. Um, gratefully, I've worked with Don on a number of different projects, actually, so BevCana isn't our first. We have a strong working relationship through companies like Vega, uh, the Little Potato Company, so a lot of consumer packaged goods expertise. Uh, for myself, my background is as a nutritionist, actually, oh. prior to getting into marketing and product development. So this really positions our formulations quite different uh, from a mainstream uh, product offering, as an example. We're able to really understand what type of clean ingredients to formulate with, how to create products without excess additives, excess sweeteners, as an example, um, which really, I think, capitalizes on where this category is headed, a more health-conscious consumer that's looking for better-for-you options. Um, Don himself has had a 30-year history in the branding industry. Um, you know, I mentioned Mike's Hard Lemonade, one, yes. of, one of the drinks his firm has created, um, which is a huge claim to fame in terms of a recreational social occasion type of beverage, um, which I, th I think is another huge opportunity for the infused beverage landscape is occasion-based beverages. So uh, a lot of skills and expertise and um, credible reputation in the industry to, uh, to pull from. This is crazy. I love what I'm hearing. I love the partnerships. Now, 
Rich TV Live, we've been in this sector for about two and a half years, and we've seen this industry really grow and blossom. Where do you see the cannabis beverage industry moving into the future? I think we have an exciting opportunity ahead of us. And, you know, most notably, if we look at some of the hard numbers, the uh, global cannabis infused beverage space was valued in 2018 at around 89 million. When we look ahead to 2025, we're looking at $4 billion plus uh, market size. So massive explosion in the next few years even. And this is really, I think, uh, anchored in some of the consumer shifts that are happening, the behavioral shifts. Consumers are looking for more health conscious and better for you options, uh, less reliance on smokable and combustible forms of cannabis as we get into the infused product landscape. Um, and if you also look at comparatives like the functional beverage category, massive growth that cannabis infused beverages can piggyback on. So it can be the same types of formulations that now have cannabis infused into them. Um, so those consumer shifts, I think, really fuel a lot of this growth as long as you've got the right technology and the right infrastructure to help build compelling brands and products. Fantastic. Now, who are BevCana's main competitors and how do they stand out? There's a lot of ways actually you could evaluate the competitive landscape for us. Um, I truly believe there's no one servicing quite the same vertical as we are within the beverage space. You'll see different outdoor cultivators, as an example, who um, might have the same scale of operation for cultivation, but don't have bottling uh, uh, infrastructure available to them so there's not that same kind of vertical that they can serve. Um, there's different edible manufacturers and infused product manufacturers that may only be focused on their own house brands, um, whereas BevCana will also have white labeling opportunities in addition to house brands. Um, and I think all of those different pieces of the puzzle really serve us well in terms of standing out and differentiating from the competition and yet complementing what some of these other brands are starting to prove as early market opportunity. Well, that seems like you guys are on the right track. Now, you have a bottling plant in the Okanagan Valley. Explain to us the benefits of being positioned there. We're very proudly a BC-based company for a number of reasons. Um, you know, arguably BC Bud has got a worldwide reputation. So again, when we think about the global opportunity, uh, cannabis that's cultivated in our own backyard, I think has a lot of resonance on a global scale and with consumers, whether they're canna curious or canna competent. Um, so we'll be cultivating in BC to really leverage that story within our products and our brands. Um, the spring water aquifer that we have on site, it's um, a pristine alkaline spring water source. Um, Canada has an amazing reputation for quality of water. So having that anchored at the site of our operation, we bottle right on source or right on site, I should say. Um, so that too really anchors this BC-based identity into the products we'll offer, whether it's the infusion, biomass, or whether it's the water source that we'll use. Um, and again, the site of the bottling operation is there too. So it's the bottling, it's the water, and it's our cannabis input material as well that's anchored in this BC identity. Wow. I mean, I absolutely love what you guys are doing. You guys seem to be very vertically integrated in the sector. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Thank, thank you, you for joining us here on Rich TV Live today. So once again, I want to thank Emma Andrews, the Chief Commercialization Officer of BevCana, for joining us here on Rich TV Live. We wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors. Thank Have you. yourself a great day. Thank you for watching.